Is it on? In this week's Radio Dork News, the FCC has issued a mean letter to the operator of a commercial FM radio translator, which is just a fancy way of saying that it's a commercial FM rebroadcasting station for having spurious RF emissions. On November 19th, the FCC sent the mean letter to radio station ID K264AL in Merced, California, because its 120-watt transmitter was emitting spurious RF emissions that were not attenuated to at least 63.8 dB below the modulated carrier level at over 600 kHz above its fundamental frequency, which as any real radio dork can and often will tell you, is not allowed. The station operator now has 20 days from the date of the mean letter to respond to the FCC in writing concerning this matter, or they may face another mean letter. Residents in Sonoma County, California can get GMRS training and a free GMRS radio for use during times when cell phone service is not available, for example, during an emergency. As reported by the Sonoma Valley Sun, thanks to a grant from the Urban Area Security Initiative, which is a grant program funded and administrated by the Department of Homeland Security, local businesses and actual people that live or work in the tiny springs area of Sonoma County, California, can attend a free GMRS radio workshop and receive a free GMRS radio just for showing up and learning about GMRS. Ham radio operators throughout the country are leaving their radio rooms and taking to the streets and cheering an FCC announcement that they have expanded the 60-meter band for licensed amateur radio operators. As outlined in the 74-page proclamation just published by the FCC, amateur operators licensed to use the coveted 60-meter band will now be able to legally transmit in the 5351.5 to 5366.5 kilohertz range at up to 9.1 watts ERP. And they are now allowed the use of other frequencies in the band at up to 100 watts ERP with no restrictions on antenna use. But of course, and it should go without saying, that your antenna gain must be taken into account when calculating your ERP. And obviously, you have to keep your maximum bandwidth at 2.8 kilohertz. Both the FCC and the ARRL also caution that this new bandwidth allocation is strictly on a secondary basis. And both the FCC and the ARRL will be keeping a very close watch on this new frequency allocation to evaluate the 9.1 watt ERP limit and its potential for harmful interference. And that is all the Radio Dork news that is fit to print. Join me again next week or sooner when I may or may not do this again.